afterwards. Here we go. Three, two, one, action! <laughs> I don't have an applause button nearby, so you're going to have to, ah, I'll do my own applause. <laughs> ah, the crowd work! <clears throat> so I, I said it earlier, it's the Lowry Encore. And the reason why it was such a phenomenal value in its days, because uh, it's hard to tell when we have these cameras and what have you, but this is actually in the same size width-wise and depth-wise as many of our smaller model two keyboard organs that we have. You know, if you think about an instrument like an Easy 4, some of you have seen or heard or owned one. Uh, the Freedom 3 we have, it's actually the same width. Uh, just, a, just a smidge of taller to make room for all the wonderful goodies on this. But the Lowry Encore is the A200, by the way. And so therefore, it actually has some of the A technology uh, in it, like many of the A technology organs. Um, and they, of course, had this um, uh, beautiful cherry uh, finish to go with it. And when you turn off the lights on the dashboard, there's actually, it lights up very nicely <clears throat> across the instrument. Um, and, of course, it's got a great sound. Of, naturally, you're hearing it through Zoom, but here, I, when I was doing my sound check earlier, I thought I was going to have to put it at 100%, and I did, and it actually hurt my ears a little bit. So it's got quite a bit of sound for this but even at a softer volume it's a great sound when you first turn on the instrument like very many many Lowry organs uh, it comes up to the sweet let me just do the reset here from power up you get the sweet Lowry organ sounds and there we go put on my ABC so I know where my notes are the letters do light up for those uh, students out there if they're ever considering an instrument of this size the letters, the ABC lights do light up, but you get the sweet Lowry organ sound. The general presets have all the same presets as the A series models, a little fuller. The pipe organ, the church organ sound from St. Th uh, Patrick's Cathedral Church organ. Radio City down the road. Bonavani String Orchestra. Beautiful sound of the chimes. Choirs and so forth. All so I could go all day just on the general presets, but the magic happens obviously with the rhythm styles. And I don't know if you could see it from there. I have a sheet here, and there are 
one, two, three, four times four, 16 um, <clears throat> categories. Each one has one, two, three, four variations. Now do the math, 16 times four is, help me, <laughs> figure it out and tell me what that number is when you have it. But I noticed there's a lot of styles and I started marking up all the ones I wanted to feature today. And then I realized I'm not gonna be able to do them all. So I picked some of my favorites. Um, but you know, I'm gonna start with the very first category here, the big band button. Like many of you, you all have these wonderful big band styles. And on the big band category, variation zero, it, it, they kept that classic Glenn Miller styles. I'm not gonna play all of them, but I'll just give you a little snippet great for those classic in the mood, little brown jug, what have you. But if you go into some of the variations, these are the styles that won a lot of the hearts. You got your little, what they call the swing train. style that I fell in love with when because I I love my big band rhythms and it was one that was introduced many years ago then it went away for a while on some of the Larry models then it came back on some of the Larry models and it's a style called Chicago swing which is great for songs like Chicago or any any style of mu any song that you want to play with this flavor oh, intro please Of course, now if you noticed, uh, let me take a look here. I know many of you. I know what most, a lot of you have, not everyone. I know a lot of you have Lowry organs with rhythm presets. So when you first power it on, this might be a good education for you too, in case you have it. You first power it on, you don't do anything. You press the eight or 10 presets that you have. This has the eight. Those are general presets. And if you go a step further, <clears throat> by having using rhythm preset whenever you select a style it's going to give you whatever for the number that you have and don't forget to count the first one as a zero so in other words this one has eight some of you have ten this one has eight and then the rhythm preset is zero um, so technically you don't have eight you actually have nine rhythm presets for every style of music now anybody figure out what how many styles we had there were 16 times four. 64. 64 styles. So 64 styles times nine rhythm presets. That's how many rhythm presets are built into the instrument. So if I was playing any style of music, if I want to do uh, some country or sort of some Latin, you know, I'll do some Latin. 
Here's a Latin style that I, you know, I love my Latins. Actually, I love them all. <clears throat> I can't say that, can I? Um, but this is a style um, that um, just kind of fun, gets you moving around. It's simply called cha-cha. And what I'm going to do is have my rhythm preset on. And then as I'm playing, I'm just going to pick a random number from one through eight. You don't have to go in any particular order. They're all great. In fact, I'm going to have you choose the order and you'll give me the arrangement and um, let's see how this goes. So if this doesn't work as well as I'd like, then I can point the finger at you. <laughs> so let me see some hands from one through eight. Just somebody give me a number. Two, four, is that a one or a six, Jeannie? Six? Okay, so I thought thumbs up first, and then I saw that. Okay, what did I say? Two, one, six. And I got any others? Give me an order. Three. I'm going to do them all anyway, so I just want to pick the order. And we got a four. Okay, so it looks like we're left with one, two, three, uh, a five, seven, and eight. What should I do next? Uh, seven and eight. Eight, and then that leaves us with number five to finish. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll start with zero and end with zero. Okay? So I hope you gave me a good arrangement here. Here we go. And action! And here's a song I don't play very often either. I was playing this the other day and I thought, God, it's been a long time since. It's a fun song. A take two <laughs> on this song. <laughs> guys did such a great arrangement you know there's what's interesting is when I use rhythm presets and I'll tell everyone you're not gonna like a hundred percent of them because there's always gonna be one that yeah it's okay actually that <laughs> all all of those all nine of those were awesome um, so you came up with a great arrangement I'll actually be using that as I go the other thing you're gonna notice I got really fancy in the beginning opening number but most of the stuff that I'm gonna do is just one and two finger stuff. Because I like, for those out there, especially new in the hobby, I want everybody to see that you don't have to be a fancy player to sound great. All right, so um, I'm gonna go on to another one of my favorite styles on here. I've got about, I've marked about 40 of them, so uh, I'll get through them all in an hour. So I'm gonna play really fast, just kidding, not gonna do all 40. Um, but one of my favorite uh, styles is, uh, is uh, from the music, 
featuring music inspired by Frank Sinatra himself. And um, this style is called New York Swing. And I just push it, Rhythm Preset is on. And let's see, I'll get it the tempo that I like to play it at. And here we go. Just like it. We have, <clears throat> since I'm playing this, you're going to hear so many fabulous signature styles that many of you have on your instruments. And that's why this was such an impressive model, um, because they took a lot of those great signature styles that uh, were on the uh, higher end models, and they put some of the best of the best in here. Okay. By the way, if you see me standing up from time to time, it's because I'm admitting people into the, into the Zoom. So here we go. styles and of course if you're going to have rhythm presets 9 for 64 did we say well 10 times 64 would be 640 so that's probably somewhere close to six uh, 600 or thereabouts um, there's also of course category presets uh, which is phenomenal a lot of the of the higher-end models the elite models they always have category presets we have two groups of category presets here, two of the most popular. One is called Big Band and one is Country. So for example, um, if I put on the Country, you now have nine Country setups, uh, presets at the touch of your fingertips. And if I put on just a good old classic Country, the first one's actually pretty clever. It was the start of making the glide feature a little bit easier because a lot of people had trouble with the glide. Well, Country Zero has, Genie, we were talking about this one, the Dobro. This one's kind of very interesting. You just play the note. Yeah, I'll just put on my easy button here. Let's see, easy. I'll turn off the memory, so just hold the chord, okay? Just playing the notes normal. strike the note a little bit harder <laughs> that's a dobro and what's really cool is that before I forget, our screen here is pretty clever because anytime I have a preset pressed, it'll actually show me the sound that's built into it. So let me put on, let me put on, oh, this is a fun one. This is, it's called Roadside Cafe, and I'm just gonna use my country uh, category preset here. here. Right 
made an order. Chet Adkins there. Had a couple great country guitar settings. Oh, a tremolo guitar. steel guitar and a banjo mandolin and a honky tonk piano having fun. I hope you are too. <laughs> um, and of course, the question that you're thinking, um, oh wait, before I get to that, um, so we have, you turn it on, you have your general presets, you use a rhythm, you have a rhythm preset plus eight, so that's nine for every, and they're at the top of your fingertips and you can see where everything is happening in the window. You have two category presets, the most common ones, the popular ones, country and big band. Um, and then there's actually a bank uh, preset. This instrument for its size is loaded. Um, and bank preset, and many of you know, I know most of you have this, is where if you want to create your own presets, you just push memorize the letter and pick a number and whatever sound you have that you like, you can e instantly store it right away instantly so you have nine of those but the question that commonly gets asked when we're showcasing an instrument because we've we've talked about this feature to where it blew in the face and that is song setups um, now I can't give you the exact number I can tell you the number I think it is and then you can fact check me and let me know if I'm wrong <laughs> um, and there are if I'm not mistaken uh, 200 song setups in this instrument. I know there's at least 100, but I believe it's actually 200. Um, and there's so many great song setups. Can't play them all. So instead, I'm going to do very quickly, I'm going to show you 190 of them. Just kidding. <laughs> um, here's a couple of my, my favorites. Um, <clears throat> when I started at Fletcher Music Centers back in 1993, I was a rock and roll blues guitar player. I played whatever current rock music was around then. That was in the early 90s. I played a lot of classic rock because I just, as a guitar player, you kind of appreciate that stuff. You know, from Led Zeppelin to Jimi Hendrix to you name it, that genre. And I played a lot of blues, you know, so Stevie Ray Vaughan was one of my, uh, and we did a lot of music like that. And when I got hired at Fletcher Music Centers, they said, well, you better learn some stuff from the 20s, 30s, and 40s. You better learn some Glenn Miller. And I said, who? Glenn who? <laughs> and I very quickly found out who Glenn Miller was because I did a lot of my research and I listened to stuff in the store and I had to buy cassettes then. You know, we didn't have YouTube, right? And I fell in love with that big band music that I was really never exposed to uh, growing up. And one of my favorite all-time Glenn Miller tunes was Moonlight Serenade. Now, I've got a bunch of song setups. I'll play a bunch of little song, song gets, if you will. And when I heard this style uh, that they chose for Moon, Moonlight Serenade as the song setup, it was just like Glenn Miller's orchestra here. Now, I don't know if you're old enough to know who Glenn Miller is, but I wasn't. Um, <clears throat> might be a little bit before your time, but if not, he was a great big man musician leader back in the 40s. <laughs> and this was one of his uh, big hits.
I looked up Moonlight Serenade, and that was the style. As I was looking for that, st that song, uh, and that is a signature style called Serenade. Moonlight Serenade, the song setup, sets it up for that style. I passed by one, um, and it said Memory from Cats. And I was blown away. Went, oh, my gosh, they actually put that style in here. So when you select it, you actually get that beautiful style called Cat Memories, which is great for so many songs. So I'll do a little bit of Cat Memories, and I'll play a couple other snippets of other stuff. Here we go. like this. I knew there was a cat in there somewhere. Ah! <laughs> so you can, that style, if you have it, there's so many awesome songs that you can play with that. And of course, I can go on and on, but there's this one. There's a little history about this one. History lesson for you. You're going to leave here with a wealth of history knowledge. Back in 1994, I had started in 93. And there was a series of Lowry organs that was, it was called the N, as N as in Nancy, T as in Tom, NT series. And those were the elite models that were introduced immediately after Kauai purchased Lowry. And some of you may not know what these names are, but there was, at the time it was, the, it was called the Heritage, um, I'm sorry, Holiday, was the spinet version of the top three models, Heritage and MX2. And they had a pretty hefty price tag back in those days. Well, they had been out at least, I, think, I want to say, two and a half, three years. And in 1994, they introduced a model called the Citation. And um, it was going to be a big deal. And it was the first time that they we're adding all sorts of new styles they've never done before. This is where I think there was the start of them really taking off in, in, in the product, music products industry. And we had a big meeting at, uh, in St. Petersburg, and John Riley came up and said, reserve a banquet room, invite your customers, you know, get them all there, uh, <clears throat> and make sure that you uh, <laughs> start inviting your customers, carving out the dates. That was on a Thursday. By Monday, over 75% or more of those units were sold in the nation. There were only 143 available. And about 75% or more of those got sold. We had to cancel all our shows, and we had one in brought into the stores, and the salespeople were scrambling to get customers in to show the product. It was sold out basically within a week's time. And they had so many great styles, but 
Here is a style that was introduced on that organ. It was called the Lowry Citation. And you're going to be very familiar with this style. So I'm putting on the song setup, Jingle Bells, and this is the style that was introduced on that model. Sleigh Bells. <laughs> So now you know where, when that style was introduced. I don't know what you're going to do with that information, but maybe someday you'll be around some Lowry people and you can say, guess what I know that you don't. <laughs> and of course, this is actually a cool feature that I encourage students to use if you have it. And every time I suggest using it, I always get this immediate, no, no, I don't want to do that. And that is the music recorder. Now, some of you probably use it a lot. Some of you probably use it very little. But show of hands, with the videos that I can see, how many of you use music when you play? Or do you, can you play without? How many of you have to use music? Okay? So most. <clears throat> and that's the way it is for most students. So you've got a piece of music here. And if it's, especially it's a new song, and you're getting your hands in place, and you've got the setup, you think about it, you're concentrating a lot on what you're playing, so you don't want to make mistakes, right? And there's a lot of focus on that. Well, when we're doing that and we're trying to focus on the song we're playing, even when I play without the music, um, we're concentrating on what we're doing. So we never fully really realize how well we're playing that song according to the way we would like it, okay? And the recorder is a very, very great educational tool for you for a couple reasons. You can use that to play the song, and then you can go back, or you could just record the chords in the song, and then when you're, if you just put the music up, record all the chords, and then go back, let it play back, and then you can work on the melody. Such a great educational tool. And on the Encore, they actually gave us 10... Uh, they're built-in songs, of course, um, and, and then they gave us 10 slots that we can use to record our own. Now, if someone wants to get creative and clever, and they're, oh, I want to put a bunch of music on here. I had a student that got one once, and I came out to the house, and they wanted a lot of songs, and there were more than 10 is what they wanted. So what I did is on slot one, I recorded about 10 songs. When I was done... And then I was done, and then I, instead of pressing stop, I went to the next setup, and I continued on. So you can, you can really fool it. But if I want to take a song, for example, um, here's one. Um, this one is, is uh, uh, one of my, well, I can't say one of my favorites because I'm going to say that a lot. But it's a style simply called disco. All right? And then what I'm going to do is transpose it a little bit for this song. play a little Phantom of the Opera, but I want to record myself and see how well I sound. So let's see here. Hit record. Now, little tip for you. If you're using the record feature on your instrument, right now you hear it clicking. Okay, nothing's being recorded. The minute you touch a key or a button, then it starts the recordings process. So if you're ever recording on your model, the process is the same. The minute you press, the minute you start something, what happens is all, and then I don't do anything, all that time that's going by is being recorded. So right now, nothing's being recorded. The minute I hit a key or a button, it does. 
Then I'll use some of my rhythm presets. I don't know what that sound is. Oh, then I stop. And then of course, you just simply play it back. And then, you can, then you can listen to yourself and rate yourself and really tell yourself that I like that setup, I like the way I did it. You know, like in the beginning, I realized I didn't want to play there. It's such a great educational tool. And of course, if you don't want to record yourself, you can make one of our staff members record for you. <laughs> so now, I won't get into all the sounds, but there he is, like many of our flagship models, they have a button called Genius. On some of the models, it's called Sounds. I always, when people first hear this terminology or this concept, I always tell them to think about it like a wild car, card in cards which means you can make it anything you want. So what you have on the dash and the layout of these instruments are all very relatively the same. When you turn on the instrument, I always tell people, think of it like this. The left side kind of pertains to the left and the right side kind of pertains to the right. So on the left side, you have your rhythms, which is controlled by your left hand chords. And on the right side, you have all your right sounds. You have your orchestral sounds, your solo sounds, and then your organ and your strings and you can put up to four sounds together or you use the presets and it does all those combinations for you. But there's a button called Genius and when you touch Genius, you can scroll through and there are literally, I wanna say there's a couple hundred sounds in here, but you can fact check me. I know there's at least a hundred and you can go through from society pianos to pan flutes to honky tonk, electric pianos, many saxophones, many strings, many trombones, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you can just sit there and scroll through uh, and change the sound. But if you're like me, sometimes you want to just sit and play, use your presets. I'm going to play a couple more styles for you, my faves. Uh, this is a style that was introduced originally. In fact, I'm going to use music for this because it is, it is such a great classic that I don't want to goof it up. I kind of know it, I think, without the music, but I'm going to be safe, better be safe than sorry. <laughs> But back in 2006, there was a, an organ called the Palladium that was introduced. It was a limited edition model, had a full console pedals, and they introduced 24 new styles on that above and beyond the organ called the Lowry Stardust uh, and the Grand Royale. And those styles literally sold that organ. Now, the sound was great and what have you. They had a lot of cool things. But they came up with some of the best signature styles. The one that many people fell in love with, and still to this day, I love this style. And if you just take your easy play music and you play the song from beginning to end, it'll do all of the fills and trills that were done when the song was most popularly recorded by Nat King Cole and his orchestra. And the... Um, the, let me find, I can't remember where I put it. Let's see. Uh, okay, it's under that button there. So, oops, wrong button. You ever push the wrong button on yours? No. Okay, so I'm going to push the Unforgotten style. Okay, and actually, what's really cool, 
If you just use the uh, rhythm preset, it's all perfect for it. Now I want to see, I'm just curious. Let me go up to the use here. I also think it's in the song setup, so either one works. Okay. Oh, it is unforgettable. And it sets up the style called Unforgotten. So, unfor un for the unforgettable music of Nat King Cole. And listen to the fills automatically happening as I'm playing the song. Love that. <laughs> now that was a little tricky trying to do the strings and the saxophone parts. <laughs> Don't try this at home. I'm a trained professional. <clears throat> All right. I'll play a couple other fun styles for you. Um, so many greats. Uh, oh, that one I wanted to play. That one I wanted to play. Oh, you know what? I don't know the whole song, but I'll play this. But this was actually a cool style that was introduced way back. And um, was subsequently put on all our flagship models and you know a lot of people like polkas you know so you got obviously your great polkas on here your happy polka right and you have your uh, barbarian polka and you have your basic and i always say if you're having a bad day you're in a bad mood go play a polka because i don't think i've ever heard a polka sound depressed or serious have you <laughs> you know i've never heard a polka in a minor key and they're always happy and uplifting and it, this one here was a lot of fun it's called the can can polka my feet. i don't know if i can do this anymore i feel like i'm pedaling <laughs> Trying to play a song here. Okay, there we go.
I know the song I wanted to play, but I had that was the Can Can. I switched to Small World, and I was thinking, I, it's been years, and I know it's in there somewhere. You ever have that happen to you? No, everybody's shaking their head. No, that does not happen to me. They're, you're all pros. <laughs> uh, I knew it was in there. Finally, I got it. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to play one more fun number for you. Uh, before I do, did you enjoy the show? Yes, good. Everybody's shaking their head. Thank you so much. I hope so, because I don't want to give any refunds today. <laughs> but I want to share one little thing with you here. Oh, now I've got to switch cameras here. So this is going on YouTube here at some point. And so if you are watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and subscribe to us. Let's see, where's the, I'm just killing time here until I find the right camera. I want to make sure I get the right one and not the one with my face looking like a five-year-old anymore. <laughs> so a lot of times we have so many different models that we showcase and highlight. And we have a lot of folks out there that will say, well, where does that fit in the line? Well, the best way to answer that for this model is this, well, two things. First of all, it's, it's actually so, it's, it's, it's small enough that if you happen to have one of the large models, it actually fits anywhere in your house. So you can, if you have a spare bedroom that you want, so you don't have to walk across the house, you can always do that. <laughs> and of course, but it's really sleek and, and small. But here's a, here's a common, I put a little quick chart just for those who would like to know. And if I get back to the right camera here, screen share. Okay, so these are the most common popular trades that we take on the um, Lowry Encore. So nowadays, because the SC Discovery 3 and the Free M3 are recent models that we're very proud of, but those are starter models in the begin entry level instruments. And the Freedom 3 is a step up from the Discovery 3, which has a lot of great options and styles and features. Um, that is a common trade now that we can take to the Encore. Uh, any Lowry model that is in the easy, what they call the Easy series, you have uh, Easy 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, and there's a 10P. Um, you go back in time to some of the models that were little. Um, what, what we like to call vintage, uh, Conductor Regency, Odyssey, Premier, and of course, even before that, back in the you know, 90s, so there's still some people that actually have models like this, or we find them online. Voyager, Pageant, Carnival, Fiesta, Director, and Century. These are our popular models. So if you're watching this and you're just curious, where does mine fit compared to, and I'm sure I might be missing a few in there, uh, that is a... Um, that is a little chart there, and if you need more information on that, feel free to email me at rroman at fletchermusic.com, and when I send out these notices, that's where that email comes from. Um, so it is a wonderful instrument of great value. Part of the reason why we very rarely feature a model like this is not only because we focus on other instruments, but uh, they're actually become harder to get. You know, so we, I was talking to some of my staff today, I think Dawn, I don't know if she's still there, but uh, she, she was saying, I don't even have an Encore in my store. <laughs> so we went hunting online and we found one in our other store in our computer system. And so it, it is such a phenomenal instrument and great value. It always has been while, at, when this was a production model. I'm going to finish off with a, a little fun style here. It's a song that usually gets taught in the first five songs or so when the hobby and the jour musical journey begins. And, and then I'll go off and play a couple other tunes. But if you decide that you want to play the song, okay, and you just play it one time through, twice, I'm sorry, twice, twice times through, twice times through, <laughs> two times through, <laughs> um, twice through. <laughs> A little, 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 little. Um, play the song and listen to the background, and the fills are designed to, to complement the song. And the song is the opening song I'm going to do is When the Saints Go Marching In. You might have seen us do this with our hand motion. So if you ever play this song using this style, the background does the fills to complement the song. It's a lot of fun. So it's called Razzmatazz. 
and then I'll go off and play a couple other fun numbers for you, okay? Did you have a good time today? Yes? All right. And if you're watching this because this is on YouTube, subscribe to our channel and you'll get some more goodies and be up to date. Here we go. I'm going to use a big band category now. Change keys here. Thank you and give the Lowry Encore a big round of applause. Ah, yeah, you can unmute and go, ah. <laughs> well, I want to say thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. And I hope you enjoyed this wonderful show. Whoops, what am I doing here? <laughs> um, and as always, stay safe. Keep playing music every single day. And, uh, oh wait, I wanted to see one little thing here. Let me switch cameras here. So you're not looking at my rear end. <laughs> okay. Um, but as always, I want to say thank you so much for all that you do. If you're, uh, if you're interested in one of these, if you're watching and you have one of those models, uh, or maybe you just want one for your other, uh, your kitchen. <laughs> All right, so as always, stay safe, keep playing music, and wow, everybody. Yeah.